I was either going to be a teacher teaching social studies in high school or being an actor. And I was like, look, there'll be plenty of time to, to teach or whatever. Now is the time. If I want to be an actor, now's the time to do it. So I figured, why not? I'm going to go to HCC um, and pursue my, my, uh, pursue my career. Uh, when I was in high school, I got bit by the theater bug. My first production was in 1995. So don't do any calculations on that. Um, and really, I, I didn't know where I could go to study theater. And, um, but I was really interested in performance, performing arts. After graduating high school, I knew that I was not leaning toward a four-year college in particular. And I thought that HCC would be a really great fit for me. The feeling of belonging and the sense of community um, was, was here almost instantaneously. Uh, you really got to know your professors and you really got to work with them in tandem on a project and it, it felt like home. It felt like the right thing to be doing. Well, first off, I mean, the faculty is just so knowledgeable with what they're talking about. I mean, it, it will, it's something that you will keep for the rest of your life. I would say that our students are incredibly willing to work hard, to try whatever it is we ask of them. Um, they are very generous with their time. It's not an hour and a half class twice a week. It's a commitment to do a show. The good news is students who come here from their first semester are gonna be cast in a show. They're gonna be on stage. Our system works, we get you up, we get you on the boards, we get you participating from the very beginning. If you prefer to do stagecraft, if you prefer to do makeup, if you prefer to do dance, movement, we're here for you accredited, fully, ready to go. I think the instructors are really attentive. Um, you could go to them with any question, and honestly, the, after my time at HCC, like I feel like I really became friends with all of my instructors, for sure. I knew from when I graduated high school that I wanted to go to college um, to become an educator, um, and HCC was just the affordable option. Uh, I could come here and then transfer uh, to a four-year school while still still being able to be involved in the arts. I was looking at different acting type of schools or any sort of film, theater kind of stuff in this general area and HCC being the only one really that had a theater major was why I decided to come here. I started HCC as a history major and I actually grew up here at the Kepler. My mom did shows, you know, in college and a little after college. I remember being five running around here and my mom was like, you should do one of the shows. So I did the spring show. Uh, it was 42nd Street with Alyssa Little. At the time, it was just the highlight of my life. Um, even walking up right now, Walking into the Kepler building is so much like walking into home. Um, just so many memories, so many people, both classmates and teachers that I bonded with and so many experiences that we shared. Um, and that's what I think is super special. We are fully certified and accredited Middle States College program, which means that the students who come here who want to go on who want to major in theater at a college university or even go to places like uh, the Tisch Center for the Performing Arts or to the uh, American Academy of Dramatic Arts, they are prepared. We give them the background. We give them the basic tools that they would need to be able to audition and compete. We do not pretend that professional acting, professional theater is something that is available to all but a very lucky few. So the other mission is to give them a lifelong love of doing theater and of doing theater in their communities where they live and doing theater all their lives, even though that may be an avocation and not a vocation as a professional. Everything is positive. Everyone's supportive. Everyone loves what they're doing. Everyone loves what the other person is doing. You shouldn't be ashamed of starting off small. Don't be, don't feel like, dang it, I should have started off big. Nobody is ready for the big world yet. I wasn't ready for the big world. That's why I started here at HCC. And having my time here and being able to grow and develop 
uh, not just in my education, but as a person and as a young adult who will someday go out in the world. It may take some time, just like for me, but you will eventually find it. Since theater was a thing I've done since I was little, my mom suggested I take a theater class and that kind of brought back the spark to do theater with my life. So I took, uh, I think it was Theater 221 or something, one of those, one of those classes, I think Theater 1 or something. Um, and uh, I'm thinking that it's going to be tech and then out of nowhere, uh, I'm auditioning for uh, uh, a show called Marat Saad. Um, so I go in there, very green. Now, of course, I love watching movies, you know, studying film that way a lot, but I had never actually done it. I mean, of course, kid plays and things like that, but like, that was actually my first acting experience there on stage at ACC. And, um, you know, sometimes it's kind of like one of those things where when you look at a pool, right? And it's like the kids on the, on the side, like maybe I'll just dip my toe in first, maybe I'll walk in. And then, you know, somebody's dad grabs them and throws them in and, you know, sinks them swim. <laughs> so luckily I've been swimming and uh, I'm very fortunate to have done that. I felt a lot better going to Towson because I had gone through HCC. Um, I took, granted we were in the pandemic still, but I, I took a costuming class where we learned about how to do costume design and how to do the script analysis for costuming and all this stuff. And at some point I was like, well, when are we gonna make the costumes? Like at what point, like is that the second, is that costuming too? No, that's an entirely different course. So here, when we do costuming, we make the costumes. Um, and I, I respect and love the importance of learning how to design. Um, but I think the practical application here with how small we are, we, we can't have all these extra classes for all that stuff. So you get the practical application in that class. If, if I can tell anybody that's thinking about coming in to HCC anything, it's just to, it, it's to, it's to come, you know? If, uh, if you're not entirely sure what you want to do ultimately, for one, but if you might not be ready yet for New York or, or LA or, or, or Atlanta or DC or however, uh, I would definitely recommend coming because again, the staff and the lessons and the foundation that you learn at ACC are going to be extremely vital that, that will take you and carry you uh, throughout your career and your next steps. Community college is such a great way to figure out what you want to do, to meet new people, to try new things. and. I would encourage someone to first off go to a community college and, and save a lot of money. I, I was able to graduate college debt free, which is huge, and that has set me up for success later in life, absolutely. But then if you even have an itch into theater, take an acting class or get involved, maybe volunteer your time handing out programs or just put your foot into the water a little bit because there are so many different jobs in the theater industry and they're all very, very, very important. And you might just figure out what you wanna do later on for the rest of your life by volunteering your time or getting involved or being tree number four in a show. <laughs> Come see a show. Come hang out and watch what we do. And then decide you wanna sign up and enroll in a course or audition for a main stage show. Just come in, one credit practicum. If you get cast, you don't have to worry about it. Just audition and see what you do. But I think once we get students around other students, I think they realize if they have an inclination toward it, and not everybody does, but then they get introduced, if they come to the Kepler Center, then they get introduced to things like dance, visual arts, sculpture, painting, music. And many times they might start out thinking, I want to do theater, but maybe they end up doing music or even art or sculpture or dance. And that is certainly why we have a performing arts center. This is a incredibly valuable asset for our community. I'm talking the facility, I'm not talking us. The facility is an incredible asset to our community. And it's for people of all ages, let's not forget that.
you and I have both directed people who were even older than we are. I know that's hard to imagine now after four decades, but I know, I know back when we both were working here and you were a student of mine, I had some people in the cast who were my age now. So, and they fit in beautifully.